whatever swank you want to do. Yep. All right, guys, and for all of you who are following along on the stream, you can click right below here, follow the brackets on at smashgg slash tournament slash rebirth yeah. six. All the brackets are there live, so if you want to see some of the what pools matches are going on, the pools matches are right there. Yeah. I'm not sure where we're going to see a game one. I feel yeah, like Blue Team would want to shy away from, uh, I'm saying Blue Team would probably want to shy away from Town and City because you don't want to give Sheik that early down throw up air kill potential, and obviously it's Donkey Kong. Yep. You don't want to die at 60 up top. Yep. And sad news has just been given to me. Seth Sational and Extraordinary are no longer being able to attend. Oh, man. Uh, Winter has bodied them. I mean, they're coming from the Flint area, so that's a decent hike for them, and especially now since I believe the weather is supposed to pick up around this time. Yeah. So that kind of, uh, it's a little bit of a buzzkill. I think I guess. Jordan was my three seed, so. Mm -hmm. Free ride to winner's finals? Dude, you versus me, winner's finals. I'll beat Ray. I'll, I'll, right. be, I'll beat Ray. Well, I'll beat Jordan. <laughs> oh! I'll, I'll drive up to his house and beat him. All right, so in the game one, Smashville. Startville. So yeah, this is like Michigan Startville. Hey, all right, I don't know if you, you probably know this. You're a doubles expert sometimes. Yoshi's yeah. double jab Broken. is just so strong in teams. I remember when Nam and I were teaming at Gamers Gauntlet, yeah. we found out that uh, Yoshi's just double jab links into a links perfectly into a Sheik up smash. Yeah. Yoshi is arguably one of the strongest doubles characters in this game. His air mobility and the, how strong and how quick he hits, it is just so hard to keep him anywhere. Yeah, you literally have to watch him all times no matter what you're doing. You exactly. Can be, you take your eye off him for one second, he's coming with an up air forward air. Exactly. He has such insane damage output. And that's what you really need in doubles. There's that grab release down there. Oh my, Absol just took like 60% right there. Yep, and look at that. Katakiri, he's about, he's about ready to die from a nice, that was a really nice conversion there. Yeah, very good by Swanky. All right, Chris the Yoshi main looking for kills. I would say he's probably going to throw out a, uh, a down oh. B very soon. Oh. All right, landing with the up air, such a safe option. What was he going to follow up with? Going for the killer. Oh, oh that's D. He jumped out of the egg, probably didn't realize it, and uh, thought he had a jump. Yep. Unfortunate. Right. Oh, my, that down air. Oh, my gosh. Thrown into into Absol. What is All right. Not going to kill. No, the one the oh one plus side, the Yoshi and DC, does not have a kill throw. For the love of God, he does not. You and see Donkey Kong's percent right now? On stock, too. Yeah. Guys, this match has been going on for a minute and a half right now, and Donkey Kong is at 116 on his second stock. Yeah. Yoshi just lost his first. Wangy's but sitting at 64, very healthy right now. Yeah, great option to select there by uh, Swanky. He ended up going with a fastball Nair. That's a good auto option right there. Yeah, that's one of those like, hey, I'm a very experienced Diddy Kong, and I recognize that you're throwing out this smash to try and bait out an air dodge, so I'm going to just use one oh, of my fastest uh, air rolls. And uh, Chris took no time there and ended Katakiri's second stock. Very yep. quick. Having trouble with the names right now, no idea why. It's fine. You know, sometimes I just want to like call Swanky Travis just because yeah. it's so second nature. Especially when his brother is, just doesn't use his real name as his tag. But right now, I think uh, Swanky is going to be very much content to just sitting back, throwing, uh, just going in there covering for Chris, and then when he gets a grab, just throw the, uh, his opponents right into Chris. Oh my Beautiful. god. Beautiful. That is this deserving of a clap. That up throw into up air. And Blue Yoshi, team, 100% in control of this match. They are up five stocks to two right now. And Swanky does not look like he's going to be dying anytime. All right, all right. Those Very Swanky low arms. Call that the, the Swanky Express. Swanky Michigan. Express, that one-way oh, trip. All right, that bouncing fish oh going to end the stock. Oh, that's nice. it. Oh, great, oh, great wow. read on that air dodge. That's like Yoshi 101. Yeah. And beautiful oh, up air as a total. Like it, that was just an ant a beautiful anti-air option. Yeah. And Katakiri not, doesn't really look all that phased. He's probably just like, man, Yoshi's so broken. But, yeah. I mean, everybody should know that Yoshi's legit. A and this is just character. to show how strong Michigan is in doubles. This is the six-seeded tournament, a six-seeded team, and they're taking on Ohio's best team right now. Yeah, arguably, arguably one of their best teams. I'm not too sure how Techno and Eddie G have done. They're apparently the best team in uh, Northeast Ohio. Are they? Okay, and then there are also a Day and uh, Sai who were not able to make it. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that was a, that was a well, This is definitely a top three team right here in Ohio. All right, in this situation, 
uh, the blue team, what they should be doing is just have like Yoshi throw eggs, or have uh, trap, have uh, Swanky sit in front with a banana in hand and shooting peanuts, and then have Chris just throw eggs. I don't think they care. This is so I mean, far they, gone. I know they don't. I mean, they, they've got such a clear advantage. That's probably the safest option. But if you want to, like, if you want to piss off a sheep, do that. But uh, oh, is he gonna live? In though? the past, these teams, this uh, Chris and Swanky have struggled in the two to one. I know there's been a lot of cases where Chris will take Wanky's stock by accident, like I'm killing him, like I'm up yep. smashing him or something. That should be it. Yep. Very nice. Up throw into up air. Clean stuff by the Conti brothers. Very strong performance. Very, very convincing. Uh, two, three stock right there. Yeah. Chris with five kills too. Yep. A lot of those kills. I think all of them came off the up air. That, yeah, five up air kills. That move got his mileage this game. Yeah. I mean, Yoshi's up air, it combos into itself, and if you get hit by just at zero, if you get hit by an up air, you're going to eat about like 35 40%. Yeah. Because that move combos into itself, it auto cancels on landing. So, so strong. One of yeah. Yoshi's greatest kill options, but one of just Yoshi's strongest aerial options in general. But I was wondering if Katakiri was going to switch to Meta Knight, but I don't see it. No, Yoshi has, is hard for Meta Knight. He, Katakiri has not used Meta Knight once his entire doubles tournament. He's gone nothing but Donkey Kong. Okay. And we are going to Battlefield, so they will cut down on those up air kills a little bit. Battlefield yep. has a much higher ceiling. But as much as this does help uh, negate a lot of the vertical kill option, it hurts DK because he does use the vertic vertical kill option. And it's going to be harder for him to land. A lot less space for DK. Yeah, he's going to get juggled a lot easier. But Yoshi does very, very well oh on Battlefield. Oh my gosh. Yoshi, Yoshi, can, does. Yoshi can abuse Battlefield's platform excellently because he has multiple options to land. And he also has uh, a huge uh, increase in his combo ability and chasing his opponents once they're in the air. Yeah. And Swanky doing exactly what he did in game one of just stay low or stay back, uh, be the support to Chris, and take very little in terms of percentage. Oh, yeah. It's such a strong combo, too. If you have someone like a Yoshi who can just go in and have a nice stock thing. Oh, just, my. Oh, wow. Oh, nice up smash on the top platform. But Sheik, what were you doing up there against a Yoshi? At such a high percent. Very no oh. I feel like right there, if Swanky would have would have just put Donkey Kong down, uh, Chris could have ran up and charged up smash and taken the stock. He did the. I, I do. I think that would have been the uh, pr uh, more correct option. But I do like the attempt with the uh, the clap into there yeah. because it would have guaranteed a stock loss. But good like stage control from Red Team right now. Swanky yeah. and Chris are having trouble getting back on. Yeah, the Red Team is turning this around. Uh, that's some crazy looking bug in here. <laughs> but Chris losing his first stock and that up throw up there. That, this is like pre-patch Kuha, except like Yoshi's in yeah, there. Yeah, it's basically it's like and it's easier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that was Chris ended up uh clipping uh Swanky with an up air there. But we're dead even right now. Yeah, stocks are tied and the percent is virtually the same. Yeah, I think the change that Red Team made was Absol is just controlling the stage much better this time exactly. around. Exactly. Absol is being the uh, true aggressor, and he's doing a much better job of just controlling Yoshi. Uh, I feel like they realized that after game one, Yoshi was going to be their main uh, problem in this set. So instead of just kind of like trying to 2v1 to Yoshi, oh, oh that, 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 that order is going to end it. Absol is just going for these forward throw into a uh, into an aerial just to just uh, throw Yoshi away yeah. and just say, hey, all right, now come back to the stage and then we'll rinse and repeat this. But that air spike, that definitely uh, changed the tempo of the match right here. Yes. It was very much even, but now the red team is the one that's playing from Man, behind. I'm going to have to tell him after this that. Like right there, Chris just had, uh, just had to leave him on the ground. Chris oh, should have wow. gotten out the match. Ding dong. Oh my gosh, all right. All right. We're, we're tied on stock, but the percent di uh, differential here favors the blue team. 55% yeah. on Donkey Kong, though it does give him a lot of rage and uh, easier time uh, killing the blue team. That means he's one step closer to getting killed by uh, some crazy team combo, combo by the Conti. And this, this game just went to utter chaos. Once they all lost their, la their uh, second stocks, they're just going at each other. Yep. It is so hard to tell what's going on right now. Nice forward throw, bouncing fish by Absol, trying to maintain the stage control. They need to, they need to get, uh, kill one of them. See, this is what we were talking about, or what I was talking about, how 
uh, Swank or Absol needs to just focus on keeping Yoshi off stage, getting oh, the, uh, all right, oh. he got the he got the 45 degree. Oh, oh that, wow, that up there. All right, can Swanky do this? Oh, that's gonna get the no, it's not gonna get the kill. Donk that. Song and a big lunch. Surprised you didn't die there. All right. If he gets one of these stocks. Forward throw. Swanky, very smart, staying in his shield here. He does not want to, oh, that should be it. Yeah. All right, we're going to game three. Great Absol comeback. Katakiri, great turnaround. Great adjustment. They took what was what was looking like a huge deficit yeah. after uh, like losing that DK stock fairly early to that spike. Katakiri, great stuff, yeah. maintaining a positive mindset and just holding back. Don't get too hasty. And yeah. then turned it around, and then they ended up winning that match in a very clutch 2v1 situation. Because Diddy, such a strong 2v1-er because yeah. of bananas. And that's one thing we're not seeing Swank use. He does, he's not using bananas. He hasn't plucked a single banana this entire set. On Battlefield, it can kind of be hard with the low, uh, not no, no, a lot of space. He did pluck one banana in game one. Okay. But Absol took it and ran with it. This counter pick, though, I feel like it's going to benefit Blue Team a lot. Yeah. Uh, don't know get what, a bigger open stage. I don't know what the bans are going to be. Um, if I were the red team, personally, I would ban Dreamland. Dreamland? I was thinking FD. Well, there's actually numerous stages that should be banned. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't ban them all, though. Duck, Duck Hunt, in, in my opinion, the two strongest counter picks for the Blue Team are going to be uh, Duck Hunt and uh, Duck Hunt Dreamland. Yeah. But I feel like on a stage like SD, like the, the Donkey Kong is not going to be able to land us, uh, so it's just me right now. But, because those Battlefield platforms helped uh, Katakiri get out a lot. Like, he was just up the away. Like, he was in a bad spot, and like uh, Chris would just jump towards him with Yoshi, and he would just up and land on a platform. Like, this minimizes losses, just cutting them. You don't want to try to get too greedy and, like, get back to the stage. You definitely want to minimize the damage. And a character like Yoshi, like, it's so hard to get back on the ground, especially in double. But, all right, we are going back to Battlefield. Ah, I'm not sure I like this from the blue team. I would have definitely liked to have seen a, a bigger more open stage, like Dreamland. But, okay. And off to start that Ding Dong coming in. Oh, great coverage by uh, Katakiri. Oh my. These two teams just. There's just so much cluster of like attacks going on right now. There's just. Hit, everyone's hitting each other. We are 30 seconds into this game. I. This is ridiculous. We're not even a minute in, and everyone's at almost 100%. What a combo. And those two stocks. Uh, less than a minute. Blue team taking no time here. Great forward here by Katakiri. Really gonna change this game up. Definitely cutting that deficit. But Swanky will need to hold that stock. Almost broke his shield there. Alright, we're back. And it's, uh, look, it's been a minute. Look at look at this. What the heck? They're, oh. they're just going at each other all out. It's, it's I mean, that's one of the, the, the strange beauties of Smash Brothers teams is the the the, the controlled chaos, I guess. Because the, yeah. con the controlled uh, chaos of doubles, it, it's almost like crazy cool boss sometimes. Ted right. Kiri almost on his last knock. Oh, that's it. That's great, great down, down B. B. Great down B. And it, what was great about it is that he read, he saw, he recognized the get up option and he said, yeah. and pull the trigger. Take stock. We're not messing around here. Oh, nope. Swanky still not dying yet. No rage on that DK. Nope. Swanky, 132, 132. Ooh, up man. With the fair, landed, I think he wanted to fall through the platform in fair, but he ended up uh, just landing oh on the platform in fair. Oh my gosh. Up air, uh, the forward air to up smash, almost taking that stock. Any other stage, then uh, Absol would have died, but that was, a, that was a really nice uh, up smash by Absol, but they need to be careful. Look at Donkey Kong, 103% last stock of this set. They this don't have any rage either on either of them, so it might, might take a while to kill him. I mean, at this point, like, all you have to do with Donkey Kong is just blow him away. You do not want to mess with him right now. Look at that stall, though. See, that, that was the ideal situation there for Swanky. Cue the monkey flip. Up air, that's Ooh, it. Nice. Hold the trigger. They need that stock from Donkey Kong. Oh, bad. 
Unsafe side B, but no punish by Katakiri. Oh. Nice down smash reacting. Can you go get, get it? Oh, no. He missed it. That was a. I, I don't think Chris did. I, don't, I believe Chris did not recognize that he was going to uh, recover from that situation. Yeah. All right, but right now, they, were, see, they realize that Don Kong is just so yeah, content to oh, stay Oh, why did he kick him away? I, I think that uh, Swanky and Chris are recognizing that uh, DK is so content of sitting back that they're going to go in 2v1 Absol right now. They need Swanky's in kill percent. That's, that's, it. It. that's it. That's a dead Donkey Kong. Absol, can he do this 2v1? 98% is it's hard, so she, much. You can't really safely go for kills. A lot of her kills come from down throw setups, and they, they have a teammate. Yep. They can't just really do that. All right, very nice vanish, but that's going to get the kill. That's it. And that's it. Great set. And Michigan advances in the top five, but good stuff, though, to Absol and Katakiri yeah. coming out of the woodwork after Rebirth 5 and saying, guys, Ohio is starting to become a threat. Yeah. You must respect.